really pleased to have you uh, joining us today. I think we've got quite quite an audience uh, this morning here. So again, thank you very much for, for joining us here today from Sangaban headquarters in the UK in, uh, in Stafford. Um, so we've got a, a packed uh, schedule of live streams uh, starting today all the way through until December, through to the end of the year. Uh, we're going to be doing them on uh, the second Friday of uh, every, every month all the way through. Uh, first in the morning at uh, 11.30 uh, CET for the first session, then in the afternoon at 1.30 Central European time. So please, please try and remember to join us second Friday of every month for, for the Norton live, uh, live streams. Bit of information for you to help your viewing experience is uh, there's an option uh, uh, below. Uh, you see the little cog ic icon on, on, the, uh, on the screen in front of you there where you can actually turn on our closed caption. So it will try and translate my English into a few local languages to help you have a better, a better viewing experience. So please have a look on there and see if your language is, is available uh, to you as, uh, as an option. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at our Quantum 3 cutting and grinding disc range. We're going to be doing about half an hour uh, with you know, a bit of theory uh, and looking at how the discs uh, perform. Uh, and then at the end, we're going to have uh, 10 minutes for, for questions and answers. So all the way through the stream, if you've got some questions you want to propose to, to, to myself, uh, please put them on, on the Q&A and then we'll address those at the, at the end uh, with everybody so we can be uh, clear and have a, uh, answer anything you, you need to know a little bit more about. Okay, so on to the introductions. My name is uh, Paul Gray. I work for Sangaban for uh, nine years now in my position, which is the application engineer for the whole of uh, Europe, so EMEA. And to kick things off today, we have a special guest star all the way from uh, from the Netherlands, which is my colleague, Derek Vrink. How are you doing, mate? Good, man. You well? Thanks. Thanks Perfect. for having me. So Derek, he's the product manager for, for uh, cutting and grinding discs. Please, Derek, introduce yourself to the audience. Yes, my name is Derek Vrink. I'm the uh, product manager for cutting off and grinding discs in Europe. And uh, today we'll be talking about a ceramic uh, platform, Quantum 3. So we have quite a bit of uh, stuff to show. Cutting, we do. grinding. We'll put, put some practice on. We'll have a short presentation, right? About the theory and the background of the whole product range. Yeah, so we're going to make some big sparks today, guys. So, uh, so yeah, it should be quite, uh, quite a show we've got for you uh, this morning. But, uh, but I think before we kick off, Derek, how about uh, we explain to the guys and girls out there a little bit more about what is Quantum 3 and what it means to, to us and our end users? Yeah. So um, we have a small presentation that, uh, that gives you a bit more background to the, to the product range, actually. This product range is fully uh, based on ceramic grains. And the ceramic grains, they uh, give a uh, big benefit in, uh, in the usage of cutting off and grinding disc. First of all, it's speed, metal removal, long life. Uh, the ceramic grains have a specific way of, uh, of, of, of breaking versus aluminum oxide grains, which we usually uh, use in our products. Um, so you could say that these products are at least twice, three times more efficient than any regular product that you would find. Uh, benefits is really uh, the speed of things and the life of things. Uh, depends if you cut or grind uh, how much material you want to remove. You could say that most of the Quantum 3 discs will um, will use a higher power type of machine, except for the light comfort grinding, which we will get to. But um, that is the Quantum 3. And if we can go to the next slide, Martin, thank you very much. So there is three key benefits that we want to speak about. This is, uh, first of all, it's the speed of uh, cut and the speed of uh, removing material. Secondly, it's, uh, it's the life. So the life of these products we have... Uh, we have made these wheels to last, so you want to do as much work as you can with one disc, and you want to do it as fast as you can. So the faster you cut, uh, the more, uh, the better your result will be in the in the in the in the cut, uh, not bluing, not being uh, affected in terms of burrs, and as a third benefit, it is better than all the rest. So you could say that uh, this product will outperform whatever is there in the market in, uh, in usage, either in cutting or in grinding. We have uh, today with us, we have the 0 0.8, we have the one millimeter, the 1 1.3, 1 
which is quite a new size of, uh, of products. We have the light comfort grinding and we will show you also the, uh, the regular grinding disc in 7 mil, which is made for pure metal removal rates that are as high as they can be. So if you go to the next slide, Martin, uh, thank you very much. That is, um, uh, again, the benefits is cutting speed. It's, uh, it is 30% faster than, uh, than our competitor, done on the same machine, on the same material, of course. Then there is uh, the, uh, the performance, which you measure in G ratio normally, which, was, which is normally about 25% plus everything else that you are used to use in the, in the, in the, in the applications. What's that, uh, Derry? Just, uh, just explain G ratio yeah. for, for the people out there. Uh, it's metal removal rate against wheel wear, really. Right. How much material can you remove with how much wheel? That's really the simple uh, explanation of a G ratio. Um, then uh, we, uh, we have this, uh, this nice graph in which you can clearly see that, uh, that Quantum 3 will outperform both competitors and also the, the previous products that we have introduced in the market in the past. So um, a, a, a slide on light comfort grinding, which is uh, the newest product in our, uh, in our, in our Quantum 3 range, the, the ceramic platform. It is a grinding disc that is specifically made for uh, battery machines, really. So this wheel will give you the benefit of uh, high metal removal on a machine with a battery. Um, it takes up a lot less power, so you will be able to work a lot longer with, the, with your battery than, in, uh, in, uh, than with regular products. So it takes up a lot less uh, energy because of the size and the weight of the wheel, that first of all, and secondly because the ceramic grain does not need a lot of uh, force to be used. So you can work lightly, you can work comfortably and still grind away a lot of material. So that is uh, the big benefit of this uh, light comfort grinding disc that we are introducing today. Okay, that is, uh, I hope that is, uh, that is all clear. Uh, so over to you, Paul. Thank you very much for that uh, explanation there, Derek. So you see quite a comprehensive range. Just have a quick look at the, uh, the discs we've got in front of us down on the table here. So as Derek says, we've got quite a few uh, products within the uh, quantum uh, family to show you today. So we have the 0 0.8 cutting, we have the one millimeter cutting, very, very popular product in the market. We have a 1.3 mil cutting disc here. So these are all the cutting discs we're going to show you. After we've been through uh, this family and showed some demonstrations of how these work, we're then going to move to our two different grinding discs we have to show you here, uh, which is the three millimeter thick LCG designed for, as Derek said, particularly for battery machines. And then we'll move on to the seven millimeter a heavy duty monster uh, material removal disc, the 7mm Quantum, so uh, a serious bit of kit. Uh, and as Derek said, today we, uh, we are using some, uh, some angle grinders, uh, but these are high performance machines, they're heavy duty machines. Uh, we're talking about some you know, big power on these, so these are not the 1000 watt, 800 watt machines we see out there in the market a lot. This is a 1.7 kilowatt machine, so to, as, as you said in your presentation, to get the best from these high performance discs, you need a high performance machine. Yeah. If you're using a standard uh, a machine you bought from the local supermarket, which you do see these days, you will not get the benefit from these products. Yeah, so yeah, it's the same thing. If you've got your high performance car, you need to put in the good fuel. It's essentially exactly the same, uh, same scenario here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really a range that is uh, designed for professional use. Uh, people that use grinding and cutting discs all day, every day, r regularly in their job. So you would need a professional disc to go on a professional machine. That's right. With a professional it. operator, of course. Yeah, makes you, it right. makes the life much easier on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis, so it does make sense. Okay, so let's get into some, some action. Let's do some work, Derek. How about that? We'll kick off, uh, first of all, with the, uh, the cutting section. So first of all, we're going to look at the uh, one millimetre wheel we have here. We'll, 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 we won't focus too much on the 0 0.8 because by far in cutting the one millimetre is, is the most popular disc. So we'll just have a little close up of this disc on the camera there, Martin. Thank you very much for that. So here you have all the relevant safety information as normal, uh, the sizes, what materials it can be, uh, be cut on, the, the OSA and the EN standard on this disc as well, which is uh, always important to look for. That's how the disc looks. You can see uh, a very robust looking disc, very strong uh, looking disc, and this is purely for cutting only. Okay, so not for any form of, of, of grinding. So Derek, as you were saying, the main purpose of this disc is for, for what? Why, why, why do we need a one millimeter? So thin, huh? Yeah, main purpose is speed. 
Uh -huh. so the thinner your disc will be, the quicker your cut will, will, be, uh, will be done. So whatever material I want to cut through, this is the disc of choice, right? Yeah, you can, uh, you can use relatively massive materials with this disc. Yeah. Although we have a 1.3 for, for more massive materials that, is, uh, that is, has slightly more body, more uh, ceramic grains in there that will do, that will do the job. Uh, as quick as a one millimeter, but it is uh, a little bit more strong for uh, for massive materials that you would work on. Yeah. The one millimeter, though, is uh, made for speed. It's made for straight cutting, so your cut will be super straight. Yeah, comes in handy when afterwards you want to weld, of course, your workpiece. I, I guess if you if you don't cut straight with a, with yeah. your workpiece, you've got to make up a lot of the volume of material you've removed with Absolutely. the welding stick, right? Absolutely. The straighter your cut is, the easier your weld will be afterwards. Yeah, makes Same sense. Same goes for the for the burning of the material. The, quick, uh -huh. the quicker you cut, the less heat you're going to put into your material. With the, the material bluing, it will be difficult to close your weld good enough. Right. Right. So it it is uh, really the preparation of your welding work afterwards which will work for the one millimeter it will help you afterwards removing burrs no bluing and have an easy weld on a straight cut so we're doing it fast no burn nice and straight less rework needed exactly so right. get the job done yeah. right first time that's right okay so i think it's uh, it's time we can have a look at how this product works i'm going to get a, a little piece of steel here it's about uh, 10 millimeters thick it's just standard uh, carbon construction steel we're going to just have a see what Derek says about the straight cut, the fact we're going to end up with no burrs on the end of this steel when, when we cut there as well, and see how fast we can get through that with the disc. So first of all, before we do that, we've got to get our PPE on. So I've already put the ear defenders in. My colleague Derek has done the same. Yeah. We get on our heatproof gloves. Some we nice have our gloves. heatproof overalls on as well here today. Yeah. Uh, safety boots and, of course, eye protection. Okay, so let's get on the, on the mask. Derek, while I put the mask, would you mind mounting the, the wheel on the disc and tell people a little bit about the flanges, how we, yep. how we treat that? Thank so you. So when you uh, mount a disc on a machine, it doesn't matter if you use the uh, blotter side or the black side, it doesn't matter. What That's interesting. So there's not a, a way around you put the disc. It doesn't matter if you have the blotter facing out or the other way around. Exactly. So it do that yeah. doesn't really matter. So the ring does not need to be in touch with the machine or anything. The ring is just there to... Uh, communicate your validity date of the disc, really. Fine. Then you mount the, di the disc with a flange. The flange has two sides. One has a uh, small piece of uh, metal upon it, so you don't use that. You need to have it flat and covering a small part of the disc and thus tightening it nicely on the machine. You can Good info. A bit Thank more you for that, you Derek. Also, when you've got the grinder for cutting, we need to make sure we are set up for, for cutting with the guard. At the moment with the guard in this position, this is particularly set for grinding. So if I'm going to be using the, the angle grinder such as this, but when I want to cut, I'm going to be in this position. And you can see there, the guard is going to get in my way a little bit. So we just need to move the guard around and touch, which is really simple to do on this uh, high performance machine. What's important there, Paul, is to, uh, and some people have seen it, uh, do well not wrong but it's it's not what we advise we advise to stay to keep your guard between you your body and the and the disc so yeah i will step away from here because the disc is facing facing me okay yeah, yeah. important guys uh, if anything ever wants to go wrong the guard is designed to take any debris from this including the sparks when i'm cutting away from from me so exactly as derek said if there's an open side of this machine facing towards anybody around or, or my colleague here move out of the way it's not yeah. like anything is going to happen but it's best uh, best practice to to and make sure that's done it's not only the disc that might uh, if you use it under a certain angle mm -hmm. it's only one millimeter thick yeah it will break yeah right so in the particles will come my way yeah. same goes for the sparks you know you have to watch and see where the sparks are going because if I uh, if I'm standing right behind Paul then the sparks will go into me or if there's any flammable material around you know you want to know where your sparks are flying okay okay so I'll let's get on with the cut I'm going to do a, a cut on this material while I'm doing the cut I'm not just going to sit the grinder in the same place I'm, I'm going to what we call oscillate a little bit so I'm going to move uh, the wheel up and down inside the cut just to change the contact area so I'm not I've not got a huge contact area in the cut so I'll keep moving around uh, keeping the aggressivity of uh, of this blade uh, to the maximum while I'm inside the material okay so let's do uh, let's do a quick cut then see if we get any burn or burrs
So as you can see, nice, really quick, really straight. And we can have a quick zoom in there, Martin, on the piece of, uh, I've cut off. Key thing is there, no burn. So I think you can see on the camera, there's no bluing, there's no browning. And that's all down to the fact of the speed of the cut. The ceramic grain enables us to get through this material. It's rather warm. That, I'm going to put that down there on the, on the vise before I, I have got heat proof gloves, but you know, the temperatures in here are excess of how many degrees? I don't know. A lot. A lot. More than you cook a pizza at, so we be a bit careful that. I don't want to cook my hands either. So yeah, really nice, clean cut. Again, like Derek says, you look at the angle of that, perfectly straight and perfectly true. So n if, we, if we were to make two pieces and put another one up a weld, there's no rework that we have to do, uh, we have to do on here. So excellent. It looks, it looks perfect. And the material is actually already rather massive. Eh? It's yeah. quite a big, uh, thick piece of steel. It's so a big chunk. And look at the quality of the <laughs> We've lost nothing off, uh, off the periphery of this. So it's still yeah. m almost 125 millimeter uh, uh, in diameter. So uh, ah, you can do a lot of cuts that. with yeah. this yeah. product. Yeah. Okay, so that's the one millimeter uh, disc. We're not time to move on to uh, a 1.3 now. We are a little bit, a bit limited on time today, so we are going to skip through products uh, pretty quick. We've already been on over 15 minutes, believe it or not. So uh, yep. next product on. Okay, so that is your one millimeter. Uh, just before we do that, actually, I just want to explain something about one of the common errors we see in the market with people using these thin discs. One of the, a bit of bad practice that we see out there, I think, is we do see people grinding with cutting discs. And yeah. we, as Sangaban or Norton is always recommending, this is not the case. You use cutting discs for cutting and grinding discs for grinding. And it's easy to show you how. When you're grinding, you're putting side pressure on the disc, which is a problem for these types of discs. Cutting, no problem, because you're using a different kind of, uh, different kind of forces. Yes. Yeah? But when you're putting side pressure on, they are not designed for that. And if you put the pressure on that's required for grinding, this can happen. Yeah, okay. Very, very quickly. So before you know it, some, something of one millimeter will crack, will break yeah. under pressure. So some people that think, oh, I can take away a few burrs, I can take away yeah, a Yeah, tickle edge. off the edge a little. Don't do it. Use a, a, a proper disc that is designed for it, like the light comfort grinding, for instance. It's, it is your safe alternative. Yeah. The discs are designed to do what they're designed to do. So th for these, it's cutting, cutting only. Right, so let's move on to the 1.3. So Derek, you know, we just described how versatile the one millimeter disc is. Yeah. Why would we need a 1.3? What's, what's the purpose for that? Well, the 1.3, one uh, of course, having a, a little bit more body to it, is uh, designed specifically for materials that are a little bit more massive. So like this? Yeah. OK. You know, it's the one millimeter would cut it also quite well yeah but uh, because there's more ceramic material in in the disc of a one mil of 1.3 the ceramic grain will get to work more than in a one millimeter disc so it will give you more benefit really so it we get more grain in there to do more work right yes exactly and and ceramic typically uh, starts to work when you give it a little bit more body and you know the wheel will be as fast as a one millimeter but it will have as a benefit where you work on material that is massive or material that has two contact points it will bring you the benefit of a much of much more life this disc is actually uh, one of my favorites i must say it's really uh, it's really quick it's uh, pumped with uh, with ceramics so uh, that will do a very good job all these discs are your favorite right yeah i like comfort grinding is my favorite and yeah uh, yes of course everything quantum three is my favorite really is quantum for breakfast for you isn't it my friend yeah, yeah, yeah. all right so as derek says 1.3 uh the one millimeter very versatile but when we've got more heavy duty work to do we need a bigger disc we need a bit more thickness in it we need a bit more uh, strength in the disc as well so with the 1.3 resists flexing a little bit more so as you said bigger materials or materials where we have two contact points, we need that bit more stability and that 30% extra on, uh, on volume of material gives us that uh, extra yeah. rigidity of, of, the, of the disc. So All right. let's do a quick cut. We'll just yeah. do this uh, thicker material, okay? Twice as thick as the material we cut previously, but it'll be a similar kind of time to, to get through this due to the fact we've got more, more ceramic grain in here. Right, let's, uh, let's go. Thank you, Derek. Yep.
super fast and yeah. clean. You know, it, it's um, for me, I prefer the feel of the 1.3. It feels more robust. It feels more stable. It also feels like I can put a bit more pressure on it without the disc disappearing as well. And again, if you look at the quality of the cut, absolutely no burn whatsoever. Uh, hardly any burrs on the side of this. It's, uh, I, 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 uh, you say this is your favorite. I think, uh, I think I agree. Look at the speed of this. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really it's easy to use. It's amazing speed in this, in this disc. And that's what it's all about, is operator comfort at the end. Is yeah. operator able to get his job done as, as quick as possible and as comfortably as possible too. So yeah, really, really nice, uh, robust disc to use. Now we say about two contact points. So let's get a piece of angle iron such as this where we do have two contact points. So if I want to cut through this, I'm going to be touching on the, the, the part of the material that's closer to the camera and the back part of the material. So I need to get the disc through this. Um, if we use a thin disc, there's a good chance we could start to bend the disc a little bit in the cut. But with the 1.3, with that extra bit of stability, we don't have that issue. It's more, it's more, it's going to withstand the, 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 the the, the feeling of uh, flexing a lot more than a than a one millimeter. Yeah. So right, if you support the end of that there, Derek, I can get yeah. this in the vise. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, the one point three is uh, typically the, the wheel that you want to use with two contact points because it can uh, give you a lot more life uh, in the in the application. So whether there's two or these kinds of, uh, of of angles are are being cut or being reworked, that's the disc to use. Okay, yep. let's see it in I'll work. Step away again. Thank you. So, again, super quick, super accurate, super uh, straight. As I say, one of my favorites. You impressed with my cutting skills? I've <laughs> <laughs> no Very comment, hard. I think that I'm was. He took a little bit too much time to answer that. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah, not well. And, and you can give it some force, right? It, yeah. it, one millimeter or 1.3, don't, they don't need a lot of force. The ceramic will already do the job very well, but if you want to go quick, this wheel and this will resist uh, a lot of force. If you use it radially, again, don't use it on the sides, but uh, it will go as quick as you want it to be. Okay, so. So that's the range of the cutting disc, the, the, one, the 0 0.8 for ultra thin cutting, the 1 mil for, for speed, and then the 1.3 for a bit more uh, robustness and, uh, and safety when you're cutting uh, so for, for bigger materials. But uh, as we say, these discs are for cutting only. Do not grind with a cutting disc under any, any circumstances. You need to grind, you need a grinding disc. And that's where we're going to move swiftly and very seamlessly, I think, Derek, onto yeah. our grinding products in front of us here. Yes. Uh, so this is uh, LCG which I think we're going to have a look at first, which is our light comfort grinding. A little bit different, if we just take a close-up of that on the vice there, Martin. A little bit different to our, our conventional grinding disc, or a grinding disc we see out in the marketplace a lot, is, is the, the thickness of this disc. It's three millimeters, as you can see. You may well be able to see on the camera here. Uh, probably not too well, but yes, it's a three millimeter thick, uh, thick grinding disc, which is, which is the f one of its one of a kind, I would say, Derek. There's nobody else in the marketplace yep. producing a three millimeter grinding disc. Very difficult to, to get a disc uh, for grinding that thin to be robust and strong enough. But yep. here at Norton, we've managed to uh, yes. manage to do that. But yep. Derek, why? why? Why do we want a three mil grinding disc? Why not just stick to the conventional 6.4, seven millimeter disc that we see commonly in the marketplace? What's there's the, there's the a good reason for it, Paul. So we developed this disc, and this is what we do with, uh, with other ranges as well but typically grinding takes up a lot of energy from your battery, right? If you would use a seven millimeter disc, your battery will go down very, very quickly. We want to design discs for uh, battery machines, particularly because uh, battery machines are getting more and more popular. So These are the future, right? Yes, absolutely. If you look at the distribution, uh, distribution network, so you will find a lot more battery machines that are of a quite high uh, performance already. They're still improving, they're getting better, they're, they're able to, uh, uh, to have a little bit more force than a few years ago, so the batteries become a lot better. Machines have uh, improved a lot over the years, and now it's really become uh, quite a popular uh, item in, uh, in, in the shops. Uh, not only in where you would used to see it in construction, but nowadays also workshops, wherever there's uh, metal uh, reworked, 
it's it's so much easier to have the to have a battery machine and just walk around where the workpiece is. Yeah. Yeah, you're not uh, bound with uh, with uh, cables and this and that. So but it's the same with drills. Now, now I don't see anybody using a corded drill these days because battery technology has moved on yeah. so far, and it, now it's good enough to be putting into into angle grinders such as this. So, uh, the biggest killer of, of of a battery machine is on these products is start up. When you start that disc turning on the machine, it takes a lot of uh, inertia to get the disc moving when it's a thick uh, seven millimeter disc. But yeah. three millimeter takes a lot less to get it moving just because it's simply lighter. Yeah. And the speed of grind you get from this means the time you have this uh, this battery machine on is much reduced again uh, extending the amount of work you can do uh, per charge uh, of uh, of battery yeah. one, of, one of the important things i think about the lcg that i i really like about it is the accuracy as well um, because of the the contact area you get with a thinner disc is more controllable uh, and we'll see that later we'll compare the contact area that we see ground on this metal uh, versus a seven millimeter disc and you will see the lcg uh, uh, grind line that we will leave on here will be a, a lot uh, smaller and more controlled than it will with a conventional monster seven millimeter yes. beast and as i said before the disc doesn't need a lot of force the ceramic will do the work by itself yeah right? so you don't need to push it in as much as you would with an aluminium oxide disc. The, the full ceramic disc of, uh, of LCG will do the job almost by itself. So you don't need to push it. Also, with that, saving battery. Yep, and exactly. Making, and making your life easier. That's what we want. We want to make the life easy for our operators. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this LCG on a battery machine, and we're going to grind off. We've divided this material in, into two, and we're going to grind off this part with the LCG, and then later when we look at the 7mm uh, disc, we'll grind off the opposite, and we'll compare uh, what those different uh, grind paths uh, look like. So, okay, I've set the guard up for, for grinding, so we're ready to go there, Derek. Yep. Thank you. So, as you can see, really, really super fast to take off this uh, this weld. Not the biggest weld in the world, but uh, you know, very common sort of size for a, for a, for a MIG welder. And the product does it with ease, as you can see from the periphery of the disc. If we just go back to the close up there, Martin. Thank you. Uh, there's not a lot gone off the disc there, so it's still loads of life in that. So again, this product is not going to be for the for the user. That is grinding all of the day, yeah, grinding big, big welds off, trying to dig in channels or grooves with the product, but very common welder fabricators are using a grinding disc for maybe 10, 15 minutes per day, and then they're moving on to flat discs, moving off to uh, non-wovens and other products because they've got a multitude of different jobs to do with, yep. with, uh, with the disc. So perfect for the, for the user that's kind of uh, versatile. Uh, doing lots of different jobs, uh, getting it done very, very, very quickly. Yep. Okay, so we'll have a look uh, now uh, to our seven millimeter uh, Norton quantum disc. Yes. Derek, yeah. seven millimeter, why do we need this? This disc is, uh, in comparison to the light comfort grinding where Paul already said it's, uh, if you're in a workshop and you pick up, uh, uh, if you want to grind something, if you want to take a sharp edge, every now and then use the LCG. If you want true metal removal and you are working with angle grinders and grinding discs almost full day and it's really about removing as much material in the least possible time uh, you use uh, the quantum tree uh, ceramic seven millimeter metal removal monster this is a metal removal monster absolutely Triple M, yeah it will it will remove material in no, no time and <laughs> it will be uh, it, it, the, the result of this is always amazing how much material you can take off with one disc yeah it's, so it's, it's a beast, isn't it? And, yes. uh, you know, seven millimeters, a lot of material to go there, fully ceramic inside here. It, it is an absolute beast. It best, best, disc, best grinding disc in the yep. market for all materials, whether yep. it be carbon steel, stainless steel, the exotic alloys. This, this thing can do, uh, do it all with, with ease. You do need a uh, proper machine for this, Paul. So yeah. you do need to, uh, if you would use it on the battery machine, you will find your battery going down quite quickly. Yeah. So this disc also needs a bit of force. So this is made to remove material. This means that you're not 
polishing. This means that you really want to push, the push your disc into the material, removing the, these big fat welds that you will find in shipyards, for instance. Yeah. Right? This is typically where you will find discs like these. So that's, uh, that's, that's really something that will, uh, will be quite impressive. Important thing to show here is when we're mounting a product like this on the grinder, uh, we must remember that we've got to reverse the flanges. So you see we have a slight ridge on the flange here. And we want to make sure that goes inside uh, the ring of the product when we mount it on the tool okay, to give it maximum uh, security on, on the grinder. So no chance of uh, the disc becoming, uh, becoming loose. So always remember when you're using the seven millimeter thick, reverse your flange. What machine are we using here, Paul? Is it uh, 1700 or not? This is 1 1.7, so 1700 uh. kilowatts. So it's, uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty hefty machine. Yeah. We are seeing uh, what, uh, corded machines like this up to 1.9 kilowatts these days. And for this kind of power, you really need a high performance ceramic disc. On, on, if you had a standard aluminium oxide disc on here, it would be destroyed really quickly. It would just go down in life. Whereas ceramic is built to withstand that. The grade's harder on the disc. It will stand up to more abuse and more wear for the users that are using these all day, taking off as much material as possible. So I'm going to now use this disc to take off uh, the rest of this weld. So we'll have a difference uh, of the speed. About 20 seconds here for this one. Probably doing half the time here yeah, for that. It wasn't uh, even 20 seconds. Wasn't even 20 uh, seconds quicker than that. Yeah, yeah. I'm bad at counting. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how quick uh, this goes off here. And, and uh, then we'll have a look at the different scratch pattern we have uh, on the material. Okay. Cheers, Derek. Good man. So, as we can see, loads faster. It is a lot quicker. But if we have a look at the, uh, the close-up camera there, you can see there's a bit of a difference on the scratch pan. All right, with the seven millimeter disc, you can see that scratch is much wider. All right, and that's due to the control. It's really aggressive, designed to moving as much material as possible. You saw the speed of this disc, where this is where we have the L LCG scratch here. A much more controlled, a little bit longer time to, to take the weld off, yep. but still very, very proficient it's at doing the job. It's also up to the, the power of the machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. This is, a, again, a battery machine here yeah. and, and a corded machine on here. So I think we could say that, as we say, the Norton Quantum 3 7 mil grinder, I think once, uh, once we find operators try this, they never go back to anything else, to be honest with you. It's just uh, simply put the best, uh, best grinding disc yeah. on the market by far. You can Look say, at the wear. You can say that this, is, uh, this, this ceramic grains, as I said before, it's around three times more efficient than uh, a regular aluminum oxide disc. So you will find that you can remove three times more material you'll find longer life. And twice the speed, yeah? And twice the speed. It's, uh, there's benefits all over. Okay. Um, as far as the demos, I think we're out of time for, for this morning's, uh, this morning's uh, live stream. So uh, just want to recap a, a quick summary of the products we've shown you here today. If we could just zoom back into the, uh, into the table there, Martin. So we have our cutting selection of discs here. So the three discs we have in front of us here, the 0 0.8 for ultra thin, uh, ultra thin cutting. We have our one millimeter for, again, very, very thin cutting, high speed, uh, less burns, no burrs, absolute straight cut uh, every time. We have the 1.3 millimeter Quantum 3 disc here, which is, again, a very fast cutting disc, but this is for more robust, heavy duty applications, two points of contact, thicker material. Okay, so more, more robust disc, longer lifetime on there. So that's our cutting, cutting wheels here. On the grinding side, we have our LCG, light comfort grinding for the operators who are switching between different products or using uh, a battery machine for, for, for their grinding work. And then the monster at the end, our Quantum 3 7 millimeter NQ24P grade wheel, which is, uh, which is the master of material removal. Yeah. Uh, if you want to do huge work, that's the one we, uh, we go to. So there we go our portfolio of uh, cutting and grinding this all in the Quantum, uh, Quantum 3 uh, uh, family. Yep. Okay, so 
after this, uh, after this uh, uh, part of the stream, we, we will then uh, switch off the live stream and then we'll go to questions and answers. Hopefully we have some questions from you guys that we're going to answer after this. But for those of you who have joined us uh, uh, or watching the recording on YouTube, this whole thing is being recorded and every session will be recorded and uploaded to YouTube for your viewing pleasure for, for later on. But those of you who joined us on, on YouTube, uh, Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time on uh, Norton Live. Thanks to Derek for being here today. Much appreciated. Nah, we'll see you, see you again soon. Huh? Thanks for having me. Cheers, pal.